Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks Plays KSP. We are continuing with our stock career. So, we have gotten some cash and we have gotten a bit of science and we can unlock the next tier. We have gotten successfully these uh, tiny points, Communitron and all that stuff. So I think we can go on and unlock the next tier. So, next tier. Uh, the main thing that I want to have is heat shield. Well, service bay is kind of handy, but I'm thinking more towards the plane part. So, wings and uh, aviation. This part might be in handy rather than general rocketry. Survivability. Yeah, I'm going to go towards the plane parts for the time being. See where that gets us. Perfect. Yeah, rather than unlocking tier by tier, I think this would be a little bit more thematic and appropriate. Because the main reason being is that I want to go to see some missions. And there's a lot of this focused observational survey of Kerbin. Take a clue in flight above 18400, 18900, 18200, 18700. Testing thing. Haul a radial mount parachute into flight above Kerbin. Stack decoupler in flight, decoupler in flight, escape the atmosphere. Breach the atmosphere by flying a vessel to an altitude of 70,000 meters. So I'm going to go with the lowest one. Observation, take a crew report, take a crew report, take a crew report. The problem is with this crew report is that I can only take one. So if I, if I want to group them, I'll take the crew report 18,400,000 meters and then a radial mount parachute somewhere there. 20 to 80 meters per second. Oof. I don't know if I can do this one. Decoupler in flight. 54 to 57. There's no way in hell I can do this. Flee solid rocket booster in flight over Kerbin. 37 to 42. Hammer. No. This is the closest thing that I can get for testing. Uh, let's do two of these. I'm hoping that they're not too far out. Now, let's see. I have two contracts and I have the tracking station, which shows where those guys are. Stereo's memory, Avarza sanity, and then Dado's recklessness and Bobux Legend. That all sounds beautiful. We should create a craft that would be able to do so. Now let's see. Space plane hangar. What can we do? Mark 1 cockpit. Perfect. Fuel tanks. Liquid fuselage. Yes. Engines, what do I have? Juno, basic. Oh, I have these small ones only. Haha. -ha. I clearly didn't think this through. Okay, yes. Then we'll do something like this. Tail connector A. I'm gonna stick you here. With a tail fin obviously on top, because yeah, it needs to go on top. And then uh, 
we do those like symmetry because that's how the planes look like nowadays then we need to take the fuel tanks and I take these two smaller ones for the time being and I'm gonna make sure that those are full this one should be empty to make it lighter this one also empty let's see if we can have them here perfect something along these lines then let's see intakes aerodynamic small circular intake something like that looks good enough swept wings yes please cool looks pretty dang good the only question is will it blend or will it fly I guess that's the main my main concern okay these are the engines and let's see center of mass center of lift well they're pretty far spaced out so no problems in terms of stability there do I want the control surfaces uh, aerodynamics elevons some elevons here come on talk to me those should be care in terms of pitch your not roll though you should also be pitch and your not roll and you should be only your that should hopefully design our craft to be stable enough by the way guys this is the first time i'm running with this i have absolutely not clue not a clue how this is going to run and especially with the runway being all janky and stuff so yeah hilarity may ensue something along these lines and then steerable landing gear will put just one and here in front I think the center of well we could steer that one oops wrong no you guys we could put you no we couldn't really could we somewhere closer to here because I want the wheels to be just behind the center of mass well so let's do PL test plane mark one and since our Jeb is our dedicated astronaut we're gonna take another kick ass pilot which is Val Val will be more of our pilot for the time being which will then transition to be an awesome astronaut right so Val can you please ensure that we actually survive this anytime you know while I'm here I might as well do crew report because I don't think I will do much more huh 0 0.5 meters per second we are doing well okay I got the point toggle the brakes recover the vessel nope it will have none of this yes we learned a lot beautiful we have learned that we need to improve on our airplane designs capabilities right we take those up and then we basically duplicate them so we'll put two down let's see what happens if we double up on these uh, 
and wings, I'd still like to chuck them somewhere in the middle, huh? Can we do that in any controllable fashion? Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. How about I do this this way? Thank you, game. Nope, not down. Straight up, please. Yes, something like that. And then we chuck these engines like this. Straight underneath and then straight above. Something like this. How does it look? Center of lift, perfect. Aerodynamic overlay, looks good. I still have a feeling we have a way too much fuel on our hands. Let's see if we can do with half. I mean, the play needs to be light for crying out loud. So let's see and launch it, see how it fares. Okay, so here we have our experienced pilot, Valentina Kerman getting ready to go towards Bobux Legend. This is the location that we have set out for ourselves to basically take the crew report from in our makeshift plane. Note that this is the first time I'm designing a stock plane so I have no absolutely clue how this is gonna fly. Um, like I said I have I believe around two and a half three thousand uh, 3000 hours in KSP and I'm pretty much ashamed to say it almost 2 hours or 3 hours is stock so yes I'm a heavy mod user so I'm expecting that all kinds of hilarity can ensue on this campaign so yes just a word of warning Righto, so we are soaring. Our surface velocity is passing to 890 meters per second. So soon enough we should be going towards Mach 1, around 300 and something, 330 meters per second. So, yep, climbing towards our first waypoint. And just as a recap, we have to be over uh, 18,000 meters when we take the crew report. But first, let's take a kick-ass screenshot that will be the screenshot for this episode, of course. Perfect. Oh, Valentina, uh, Val, you forgot to smile there. Can I get a smile, please? Oh, she's so serious. 278. Let's pull up the resources here. As you can see, we have plenty of resources available. So that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. It's passing 8,000 meters. So altitude 8 kilometers. it seems that we are decelerating as we are climbing higher up which makes me a little bit concerned well are you concerned nah she is as cool as a spritzer well we've passed 10,000 meters which is nice although our surface velocity is dropping off sharply which makes me all kinds of worried let's lower the nose a little bit we want to pick up some speed, right? And the more I pitch up... Oh, come on, you can do it. Almost 11, and... Nope. Come on. 
You know, guys, I think we'll need to abort. If, I, if I'm having this much trouble achieving 10,000 meters or 11, I'm definitely not going to come anywhere near 18. Not, not alone surpass 18. So I will say, well, let's just be humble, take the crew report and return back and figure out some other ghastly way we could take mo some more science. So, Val, what do you think? How could we take more science? I have a great idea. Let's land on that uh, island runway. What could possibly go wrong there? We have a decent plane, which is flies pretty stable, tends to nosedive from time to time, but all in all it's pretty good plane. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, now I should probably reduce the throttle a little bit. There we go. Okay, pull your nose up a little bit. Alright, we are picking up speed going down, so let's decrease the throttle. And one thing I need to keep reminding myself is that I don't have air brakes. So I have to be very careful in terms of the speed that I'm going. 300 meters per second, almost Mach 1. I'm still used to play with Ferrum Aerospace Research, which if I pulled too sharply on the stick would probably disintegrate my plane. So, okay, let's deploy the alabons. We want them to use them as flaps. Okay, let's turn to align ourselves with the island runway. There we go. Valentina looks happy. She has never been to the island, so I think it's only fair that we take her there to explore. Now I'm trying to find the optimum surface velocity and approach vector so I've landed a couple of times on the island runway so um, but I haven't done it with such a small dinky plane I think it will be fine Valentina doesn't seem too concerned she is enjoying herself loving the view you know and she's just happy Ooh, our surface velocity is too low. I'm worried that I might get stalled. Okay, kick up the engines. Come on. Let's uh, retract the alavons. Oh, come on. Don't stall. Don't stall. Warning. Warning. There we go. Just a smidge. Thank you. Whew. That got me worried there. Almost. There we go. Nicely lined up for the runway. Okay, dropping the velocity. Approach seems solid. There we go. Final flare. Getting ready and touched up. What? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that we have killed Valentina. 
a moment of silence. But she will be back because I'm playing with stock settings after a couple of missions. So thank you very much. See you in the next one.